All right, this is the color wheel for intro to art. A very brief little demonstration on what to do. So I printed off um, the color wheel for you so you can get started right away. And I'm going to be demoing just with yellow, red, black, and white. Uh, the third primary, of course, is blue, but I think this demonstration should suffice as far as what I expect. So from our presentation, you will know that I'm asking of you to do your hues, your pure colors right in the middle, your tints on the outside, and your shades in the middle. So that is what we'll do. I always try to start out with yellow as my first color, because I know that <clears throat> the brushes of students don't always get super duper clean, so I will always wash my brush first before I, I do uh, start with my yellow. So uh, part of this exercise is that I want you to work on brush control. Painting is not quite like drawing, because as, as you push down harder on the brush, the farther out the bristles will kind of um, go out. So it takes a little bit of time to get used to actually painting as opposed to just drawing and sketching. So do your best to stay within the lines of each of these little pie slices, I guess. Okay. So there's my yellow, my very first one. That is done. I'm going to clean my brush off because I don't want to contaminate my red, because I'll do my red next. And I will move my palette so that you can see it. And here's my red. So if it helps, you can, for this sheet, go actually label each little segment so you don't get it wrong. So this is yellow, this will be yellow orange, this will be orange, this will be red orange, and red. And you could go all the way around your color wheel to complete it and fill it in. That way you know for sure you will not make a mistake. So grab my red, just a little bit. A little bit of paint goes a long way. I actually took a little bit too much on my on the on my palette. Um, but I want to make sure you guys could actually see the colors on the video that I'm, I'm sh recording here. So use your, your brush to try to fill in the lines best you can. And you, we will have our second primary all ready to go. Now you can, if I guess it really depends on what you want to do. If you want to just stick with one color and make the tints and the shades with that one color before you move on, that is fine. Um, how I like to do it is I like to get all my my hues in first, my pure colors, before I do anything else. So I will clean my brush one more time. Now for mixing paint, I'll move my tray here. For mixing paint, I do not want to just take my red and start mixing it into my yellow to make my orange. What I want to do is take a little bit of that yellow, put it somewhere else, and then I'll take a little bit of the red to make my orange. That way you can control the amount that's going in. It's not, it's not just taking all of it and just guessing. It helps a little bit to make, make sure it goes well. So there's my middle part. I'll take a little bit of red. Remember that paint, yellow is easily, easily influenced because it's the lightest in value. So I do not want to make it 50-50. You want to add more yellow to uh, than your red to make your orange. And what you're trying to achieve, and hopefully it's recording okay, it's just like that that perfect like pumpkin or carrot colored orange. That's the orange I want to try to try to get. So I have that. And I'm going to go over to this spot here. And I will fill in that little section with my orange. Again, working on brush control, staying in the lines. All right. Now, uh, same thing. I'm going to do my yellow orange next. But I don't want to just take all my yellow and mix it into that. So I'm going to scoop some of this orange away to a separate spot. And I want it to be a very, very yellowy yellow orange. So I'm going to scoop a whole bunch of this yellow and really mix it up. Hey, I'll even take more. What I'll be grading you on is, is each color different enough from each other? Is this yellow orange definitely a different color than your orange or, of course, your yellow? OK? It should have more yellow than red on this one. Fill that in. There we are. That one is complete. Um, now I know that I can just I can actually just take the rest of this orange that I just had, and I'm gonna take a little bit more red and mix that up. Maybe I'll take some of that too. And this one should be a very very red orange. Shouldn't be quite red though. It still has to have some some orange in it. Right about there is where I'm gonna stop. So the same thing, it needs to be different enough that I can say, okay, yes, that is your orange and that is your red, and right in between you have this nice little mix that shows that you understand how to get 
just a straight red orange. All right, so that and so on and so forth. So next, I would then need my blues for my my third primary, um, and I could do my greens and my violets with if I had that blue. But I think you get the idea of just getting your basic colors. Also, what I want to show are both the tints and the shades. So I'm just cleaning my brush out really well. I'm using a paper towel to dry it off so my colors are not opaque. I mean, I'm not translucent, but they are opaque, which is what we want. Um, and I will do the same thing. I'm not, I don't want to contaminate all my whites. So I'm just going to take a little bit away. And then I'll just take a little bit of red. Because white is easily, it'll change very, very, very quickly. And of course, if you mix white and red together, you get some color of tint of pink. Um, and for this exercise, I want you to make sure it's very, very, very clear that you have tints and shades. So don't be, don't be shy in making it a very light pink for your tint, or all your tints. And you do need to add, add the black for the shade. So there's my pink sitting on the outside. I will dry my brush off. I'm going to take this time, I'm going to scoop some red, and I'm going to take just a teeny amount of black. I'll try to show you on the camera. Just a little bit. And that little, that small, small amount will actually change it just enough. And what happens is it gets kind of a maroon type color, a dark red. So the inside, usually what I see is that people will add way, 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 way too much black. And you actually just, these, this middle circle just ends up being black and not, not the shades of the colors of what you're trying to achieve. So there we go. There it is. So we have, oh, on the camera it looks a little darker. Try to focus some light on that. That's not helping. Um, it's just a darkish maroon color. And so for each pie slice, that is what I'm asking of you. Of course, when you're all done, paint trays need to get washed up. Your brush and water cup also need to get washed up. Okay, that's all. Thank you.